Hey everyone, what's up? So I'm back with part two of my Q&A video. I already did part one and I answered all of your guys' questions on Instagram, as many as I could anyway, and I did a whole video about that already. So I will link that down below in case you haven't seen part one. And now I'm just continuing with your guys' questions on my Instagram post I made a while ago. So starting off with Catherine Wally, she asked goals for your channel. I really don't have any like set goals other than I try to post at least three times a week but other than that I don't plan out anything I don't expect anything else to happen and I like it that way because then I'm actually surprised when things happen so next question um, Savannah asks what are your current favorite makeup products and which do you prefer more drugstore or high-end um, I have a lot of current favorites so I'll just wait until I do my March favorites video um, I will link that down below if I've already created it so you guys can just watch that because that's everything that's current and up to date and as far as if I prefer drugstore or high-end I really can't pick because I love both so much and it would be so hard for me to pick because I have a few products that I love that are drugstore and then some high-end must-haves like that I always have in my collection so it'd be really hard for me to choose because honestly I use a pretty good mix of both okay so Queen Sam asks favorite drugstore brand P.S. I love you so much oh my god okay so thank you I love you okay I don't have a favorite drugstore brand I've said this a lot before I don't have a favorite brand I like to use a little bit of everything and it would be hard for me to choose a favorite because I really do use so many like different drugstore brands Queen. makeup queen asks what's your favorite lipsticks at the moment I already answered that in the part one so make sure you see part one um, makeup by Lee asks if someone came to your house and forced you to give them all your makeup but you could only keep one thing what would it be I don't know because everything here is definitely replaceable so I'd probably keep like a limited edition set and first thing comes to mind is my Bite Beauty like double ended lipstick set that I got for the holidays so I'd probably keep that because I love my Bite Beauty lipsticks. Grace Isabella asks what has inspired you to do makeup? I really just liked it and I started watching YouTube videos when I was in high school and I got really into them so probably a combination of just being interested in makeup already it's always been something I've liked to do and then with YouTube it really like kind of opened my eyes as to like how to use it and what's good and you know just watching different people on YouTube definitely made me like spark my interest even more so than I already had so Sola Port in asks what What's the most challenging thing about being a YouTube beauty guru? I would say the hardest thing is to keep consistent with your uploading, like at least upload maybe once a week if that's your thing or twice a week, whatever your schedule is, that's probably the hardest thing is to stick to whatever your schedule is because if you don't sometimes you can just fall behind and then you know a week will go by or whatever and in the beginning that was like the hardest thing for me was to keep consistent uploads. That's probably I think for any YouTuber that's probably the hardest thing to do really. The Mandarin Orange asks what's your favorite animal? Um, I, I love cats. <laughs> and then May K. Miller asks why you started YouTube? That's a good one. I pretty much just have always wanted to do it ever since I started watching videos back way back in high school for me. So I just kind of put it on the back burner like obviously I was busy with school so I never had time to do it when I was like when I first had the idea to do it. I didn't have time but once once I had my own camera and my own like little space to film I was like let's do this and see where it goes so I did and I'm really happy I did because I love YouTube it's so much fun and then Mina also asked do you get recognized off YouTube a lot in real life um, I wouldn't say a lot I mean not uh, only if I'm like at a beauty store like whenever I go to Ulta or Sephora sometimes I get people who are like oh my gosh and I'm just like you know it's funny to me I think it's so much fun I love it and I have met quite a few of you guys and when I used to work at Target I met so many people if there was no YouTube where do you think you would be today um, I'd be working and that's pretty much it I'd just be working at my job and I would still be in like love with makeup I'd still probably have as much makeup as I do now I've always been into makeup I've always had a collection so I would be pretty much where I am right now. Tessa the Mermaid asks, if you could only wear two beauty products, what would they be? 
Um, definitely mascara and probably lipstick because those are my one of my two like must-have products. I don't wear makeup on a daily basis and sometimes when I'm in a rush all I do is wear a little bit of mascara and lipstick and that's it. So I would definitely say like my Maybelline Colossal and probably Bite Beauty lipstick. And today I'm wearing Bite Beauty Heather. It's one of the butter creams. So um, Princess Belle asks if you could say one thing to everybody in the world what would it be? Also what are your dreams? Where do you want to be in 10 years? I can't see myself in 10 years. Really, at 31, I have no clue. So I don't even want to think about that, honestly. Like, I don't I don't even know because I don't like thinking too far ahead. Um, not saying I don't like to plan things, but in 10 years, like, girl, that is, like, way into the future for me. So I have no idea. Honestly, this is the same way I answered when you guys asked me where I see myself in five years. Honestly, I don't, I don't know. I, I would hope that all my family and friends were healthy and we're all still very close and that's pretty much it for my plans and if I could say one thing to everybody in the world I would say be nice because there are so many people that are going through things and you don't know what they're going through. Becca Boo asked what Disney character do you relate to most? Ah uh, that's a hard one. I love Disney movies. Pick which Disney character I'm most related relatable to so I'm gonna pick I'm gonna take a quiz on this website. I got Princess Tiana. I love her. I love Princess and the Frog. So it says, you're hardworking, talented, and kind. You're not afraid of rolling up your sleeves and getting the job done. Disney DLR asks, if you could go to any Disneyland in the world, which one would you go to? I would like to go to Disney World. I've never been there. So I would definitely pick Disney World just because I've heard that it's like you need three days to see the whole park. And I love Disneyland. I know Disneyland's like where it all started. So I have a special like place in my heart for Disneyland because it's you know where I'm from Southern California so I love Disneyland but I would definitely pick Disney World if I had to pick like a vacation to any of the other Disneylands because I know like they have Epcot and all that cool stuff so I would totally love to go there. Harrison Clayson asked how long do you usually spend in Sephora even when you're just going to buy one thing but turns into several things? Um, I would say probably an hour I mean every time I go in there unless I'm really being good I'll be like 20 minutes but definitely at least like half an hour to an hour or sometimes I just end up like swatching stuff and talking to people and it just ends up turning into a complete shopping trip. Lovely Kiv asked, do you shop at Dollar Tree and would you do a Dollar Tree haul on YouTube? Um, I do shop at Dollar Tree sometimes but usually it's just to like see what they have and I go to a lot of different Dollar Trees all over Southern California but I don't end up usually finding a bunch of good stuff so I probably won't do a haul unless I hit up some like jackpot like amazing Dollar Tree. Mel B5582 asked, did you really use box hair dye to get that beautiful red? I do. I use box hair dye. I'm not joking. I've only been to the salon a few times and it was so expensive that I was like, I can't do this anymore. And when I had black hair, I always use box dye because black is black pretty much. And I was, I've never tried reds before. So I was a little bit scared on which one to try first, but I love all of the ones I've tried. I've really liked. And my favorites are the Garnier R2. It's the medium intense auburn I think and I love the L'Oreal Feria one. I forget the name of it but I have it linked um, in the description in my FAQ so make sure you check that out but I also love Garnier. They have great red hair dyes. Harrison Clayson asks if you were able to collaborate with any makeup brand to create a couple products which brand would it be and why? Oh my gosh that's a great question. I would love to collaborate with Bite Beauty. They come to mind first to me because they are my absolute favorite lipstick brand. I love their products and they come out with like a lot of limited edition collections. I've never seen them work with people before. I don't think they have any way, but I have all my Bite like back here. You can see my water bottle. <laughs> I have all my Bite Beauty back here in like a little acrylic case and I have bought so many of their limited edition collections. Their matte lipsticks, their lip balms. I mean, I just love their products so much and it would be like a dream come true to make a lipstick color with them. Like I don't even care if it's one. Like I would just love the chance to work with them. SeaWorld 1823 asks, Starbucks or coffee bean? Girl, coffee bean all the way. I am such a coffee bean nerd. I love them so much because they have almond milk and I just feel like their coffee, even their black coffee, it tastes so good. It's just, they have a lot of flavors and they're just really rich and it doesn't matter what coffee I get.
get every time I go there. It's just like so delicious. I'm Audrey Makeup Lover asked a beauty product you can't live without and what is on your playlist right now? Um, I love, well I love my lips lip balm. I really use that all the time so I would pick that and also I love this Bite Beauty Buttercream Lipstick in the shade Heather. This is my new favorite color. I love this shade. I've been wearing this like so much ever since I first bought it. So I would say this lipstick. And as far as playlist goes, I listen to a lot of just classic rock. I love classic rock. So many different bands like The Doors, Aerosmith, um, Rolling Stones. Like I'm not sure how old you are if you know any of those bands, but I love classics. Anything classic rock that's always on my playlist. I love just, I like rock in general, but especially classic rock is my favorite. Kristen98 asks, favorite lip balm besides Lip Soul? Um, I really like my Revos, so I would say Revo lip balm, and they don't have many permanent flavors, but if I had to pick one, I would say their strawberry flavor is so good because it smells just like the strawberry shakes at In-N-Out, and it's, it's so good. I just love the way it smells, and it's really moisturizing. I just, I mean, you guys have seen my Revo collection. I, I talk about all my Revos if you haven't seen it, so check out that video, and I will I talk about all my favorite scents that Revo makes. How do you keep a relationship with your BF strong? So I'm not sure if you mean best friend or boyfriend, but for both of those relationships, I um, I make sure to talk to them. I know that sounds really weird, but like so, so many people like don't talk to their friends on a daily basis or not very often and I talk to people like I make sure the communication is like open and we're either we're texting or we're calling each other I mean not every second of every day like that's annoying but you know every once in a while like make sure you say hey how are you like what's up and with any relationship that's really important um Alyssa Morley asks hi Holly what are your tips for applying slash getting hired for jobs for applying for jobs is to make sure you like write a list down of all the places you want to apply to and keep track of it because sometimes you apply to so many places at least for what I experienced like right out of high school I applied to so many places that I kind of forgot like where I applied to and I would get all these callbacks of places that wanted me to come in and I would have so much time like I would have such a struggle like um, figuring out where to apply first because there were just so many places around me um, so make sure you keep track of where you applied to and also make sure you go to the places in person and maybe hand them an application in person a resume as far as getting hired goes I think it really is all based off of your interview because um, usually there's like a first interview and then a second interview and after that they will tell you whether or not they hire you on so make sure to just get that really good first impression it's all about first impressions make sure you look nice you smell nice like all that stuff make sure your resume is like on nice paper maybe put it in a nice little folder anything like that will really make you look good like you want to be your best self you can be like in your interview trust me if you like make sure you take care of all that you will definitely get your job Mary Ollie asked do you have any tattoos no I don't have any but I think I might get one sometime in the future I'm not like planning when but I definitely like tattoos I just want to make sure it's something I really love and that I really like. I have no problem with tattoos. I actually like tattoos. I think some of them look really cool. Um, I just really want it to be important and special to me so that's why I haven't got one yet just because I'm still kind of thinking about my idea. Girly Girl Reviews asked how many lip balms do you own? I've never counted and I don't even know. Like I think that would take too long. I don't know honestly. I really don't know. And she also asked um, favorite brand of makeup. Like I said in the part one I don't have a favorite brand I love all types of brands all kinds of stuff I just love trying a bunch of different things so. Anna XA asks what was your middle school slash high school experience um, middle school was not fun. I hated middle school so much. Um, I mean, I wasn't a bad kid. I, I was straight A student. I was the same way in high school, except for that I kind of got lazy senior year, but I had mostly A's like all throughout my school experience. I always had a nice experience. Like I had all my friends, but middle
middle school was just kind of like boring. I, I didn't like it and I was waiting for high school to happen because I was just like, can we get over this middle school? Like I just, I don't know, it was weird. I just felt like it was so long, like the days just like dragged on. So high school definitely was my fun time. I loved high school and I had a lot of great friends. I just visited with one of my old high school friends yesterday and it's so, it's so awesome like when you get to like reconnect with people. Right, guys, so that's it for part two of this Q&A. Thank you all so, so much for having so many questions. Like I didn't even think I'd need a part two because I didn't think I'd get this many questions, but you guys were so nice and so sweet to me. So thank you so much for everything, for the questions, for watching. And if you want me to do any more videos like this in the future, just comment down below and let me know. I could probably do another one sometime. I mean, right now I feel like I answered all the questions, but if you guys have any other questions, um, maybe we could do like a live Q&A. I think that'd be kind of fun because it would be like in the moment, like spur of the moment type of thing. But I think that'd be so much fun. So let me know what you guys think of that in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching.